another day, another problem. So let's solve it. Hello guys, I hope everything is going well for you all. In this video, I will show you how to solve the valid palindrome problem. I will try to solve it in as many different ways as I can, but keep in mind that there is no limit. So let's read the problem and write down the important details that will help us figure out how to solve it. A phrase is a palindrome. If, after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all no alphanumeric characters, it reads the same forward and backward. Alphanumeric characters include letters and numbers. So given a string S, return true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise. So we have a palindrome. A palindrome is a word, number, phrase, or other sequence of symbols that read the same backward as a forward, such as the word race car. We can read it the same backward as a forward. And also we need to ignore all known alphanumeric characters like comma, space, exclamation, etc. So the first way to solve this problem is to make a new string, that is the reverse of our input string. Then we will compare the input string to our reversed string to see if they are the same. For the non-alphanumeric characters, we're going to use the regular expression, which is sequence that form search patterns, and it's going to help us check if a string contains the specified search patterns, like comma, space, exclamation, and we're going to remove it. For time complexity, it's gonna be O of n squared because in Python, the string concatenation requires all characters to be copied to the new string, and also we are iterating throughout the string. For the space complexity, it's gonna be O of n because we are creating a new string with the length of the input string. The second way to solve this problem is gonna be just by replacing the new string by a new list. And instead of using concatenation string, we're gonna just append, which take all of one time. At the end, we're gonna use the join method that takes all items inside the list and join them into one string. For time complexity, it's going to be O of n, and space complexity, it's going to be O of n. So the third solution is going to be a recursive solution. The idea of a recursive function is simple. If there is only one character in string, return true. Else, compare the first and the last characters and recur for a remaining substring.
time complexity is going to be of n and the space complexity is going to be of n. Another way to solve this problem is instead of palindromes being words that read the same backward, think of them as a word with mirroring halves. For example, like mam, we have m and m, it's mirroring themselves. So to solve this problem, we're going to create a left and right pointer. The left pointer will initially start at the first letter of the input string and the right pointer is going to start at the end of the input string. So we're going to compare the letter. If they matches, we're going to move the left pointer to the next letter and the right to the previous letter. If they matches, it, it is a palindromes. So the time complexity for this problem is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1.